Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you had a great weekend and a happy new year. Wishing all of you a fabulous year ahead. I mean, last week we relatively didn't really do much, right? We went sideways and we had a pretty, you know, bearish Thursday and then kind of a midday Friday. And then the market kind of is opening pretty much where we left off the week before. So not much has really changed. We do know that we are pretty extended. If we take the most recent impulse, we're almost, we pushed the 2.414 before it was sold off. So as long as, you know, we stay under this 4787 FIB level, I do think the market does need to come down. This short clip is presented by Community. Fast track your learning curve and profit with our Leduc Trading Discord community. It is ideal for beginners who love the chase. Community provides access to not only Samantha's daily market thoughts and chase trades, but also her fabulous team of live stage mentors who share their actual trades and risk management stops across equities, options, and futures. You also get access to custom trade support when you need it. For more information, visit www.leductrading.com slash community. I said this before, saying again, we probably are going to have some kind of oversold pullback, except it won't just be like death. Like it'll be a mix, very choppy, very sideways kind of pullback. So yeah, bigger picture. This is still a channel I am looking at. Still waiting to see for me to even make a bearish assumption. We would first need to, you know, come to this 4,600 level. So until we do that, I'm just going to leave this chart on here. We look at the chart of the dollar again, for example. We, you know, we have kind of that oversell bounce. We rejected and boom, we came down to test support. And once again, I zoom out, the reason the dollar is bouncing is because this is a very major demand level rates. So there is no surprise here that the dollar is getting some kind of oversold bounce. So now bigger picture of the dollar will be very similar. Either this bounce gets rejected. If I zoom out of this channel, you'll be able to see that pretty much stopped at the top of this channel. So I mean, the law of nature suggests that we do come down, but for that, for us to reach to this 95 level, we would need to break below 100. Right now, we are kind of having bounce off the demand. So there is an alternative path that I drew as well, where this can be an A, a B, and a C, but yeah, it's a long way to go before we even talk about this structure. So just leaving this on here, we look at the yields again, we've come down. Now with spacing, again, kind of having that oversold bounce, either this is going to be a giant wave four with a wave five to come, or this, again, like I said, a bounce that gets rejected before we come back down to the 3% levels. There's a lot going on in the T-bill market right now. It's kind of fascinating, so keep an eye on that. With all that being said, let's kind of look at this week's watch list. First one I have is a firm. Again, we are pretty extended, pretty, pretty extended. Like if you look from October, the stock is up like 200%. And we have barely had a pullback and we are, you know, you can see on Friday, we pretty much, it's a very bearish engulfing. So that's why I think as long as we get below 48, 49, stay below 49 and break 48, we should, you know, come down to test 46. And it does, you can see here that we do have an unfilled gap down to this 4360 so at minimum 4360 if it's a bigger abc we probably come down to test about 38 before it bounces again so it's kind of what i have for a firm nvidia is the next one i have on this week's boxes again the reason for that is we did have an inside week so it is due for a very volatile week kind of what we did with google last time so i put it this way to be bullish get over 500 to be bearish break like 488 487 and we probably pull back to the next level of support at 475. So there's that. And the next one I have for this week's watch list is actually a match. So again, the reason for this is you can see that we pretty much, I zoom out, you can see that we pretty much had a bottoming three-way pattern. And now you can see that we like had a bounce. We consolidated for four weeks. We broke out right on 18th December. So, I mean, this has not really popped. Some of the oversold plays like Coin, Carvana, and all these other stocks, they've had massive rallies. This has barely gotten off the bottom, which is why I think that if it can get over like 37, then we could definitely push up to like 38, 40. It's still, I mean, even if it pulls back, it's still gonna, you know, at minimum, I think, Test 50 in the future. So you put this back on your watch. So, so this does look good. It has broken out. We tested the breakout and now it's trying to go higher. So let's move on to the next one, which is Neo again. You know, I think any bounce on China is a sell. And I do continue to think that till I see anything. And I'll update you if I do think we bought them. But yeah, 
Neo below nine bucks probably comes back to the bottom of this channel. I mean, for me to be bullish, we would need a breakout of 11 and then I will consider a more bullish chart. But yeah, that's all I have for this week. I hope you have a great week. Subscribe to LaDuke Trading YouTube channel for more Wolf's weekly wavelist videos and other content.